Hello and welcome back to another Northern Pokemon Openings. My name is Professor Joel and today I bought myself four binders off of a friend who was getting out of the game. There's quite a bit of old stuff in here as you can see like this uh, gold berry here. A bunch of older cards. Um, I took all the good stuff out. These are considered the, the bulk that's not... Well actually I'm going to keep all this stuff. This is not considered the bulk but there is bulk. Don't want to bore you with all that and the bad angle with the glare. So I took all the nice things out and they're over on my uh, countertop and I'll show you that in a second. Hey, back here in my normal corner, uh, I have five piles here, all of which are rares or hollows or just really cool things to look at. So let's dig into this collection. Uh, I guess I'll start from right to left and uh, we'll go off with the EXs first. We have ourselves a Mewtwo GX that the person had in their collection. Um, they, said, they said it was their only Mewtwo, sorry, their only GX card they had actually that they traded for. And uh, yeah, cool. There's another full art GX Mewtwo. Got ourselves a Charizard, the Mega X Charizard from Generations. I'm not sure this is, no, the Flash Heart one's worth about 25 bucks actually. So that's one that I think is only worth about eight, but hey, it's cool to get one of those. A Skeptile EX, a Blaziken, a Gardevoir EX Full Art from the, uh, what is it called? The uh, Generations Radiant Collection. Get ourselves an old Chandelure EX from the, uh, it doesn't matter, I'm just going to keep going through it. Delphox, we got ourselves a Full Art Shaman from the Radiant Collection. Mew from the Radiant Collection, that's like 10 bucks. Got ourselves a Leafeon, good old Leafeon. A lot of promo sets, uh, Generations and Radiant, some Legendary Treasures. Get ourselves a Victini, again from that set. A Full Art Kingdra. A Volcanian. A promo Xerneas uh, Shiny version. A Glade. And a Magirin EX. Oh, and a Venusaur. Just keep going through it. So like I said, that's pretty much all just the special sets. That's kind of cool. Actually, this is a, uh, a special set too. Shining Legends. Then we're going to go into some hollows. Got ourselves a... Um, what is this one? Almost Star Break. Cool. I'm not sure how I like this camera angle. One second. Nope, doesn't look like I can reasonably change it right now. So, we're going to go into some cool stuff, some older stuff. Right here we have ourselves a Brock's Ninetales, first edition, and it's in pretty good condition. Um, this card is actually worth about 50 bucks. I wonder if all the good stuff is going to be right here. Going to take off camera? Yeah, you know what? This is the pile I'm actually going to save for last. Uh, Brock's Grit, sorry, Brock's Grit. Brock's Ninetales is just one of the highlights in that pile. So we're going to just go to the next one. Uh, what do we have here? Ah, it's a scissor. Uh, I ordered this one from a guy from Sweden, and yeah, he shipped it to me. It's from a special Japanese set, the Versa series, and we didn't actually get these in America, so, or Canada, or wherever be it. And yeah, I collect Scizor, one of my favorite Pokemon right there, and uh, just one more for my collection. I think I'm missing like three in total for having every Scizor type card. Okay, we're gonna go into some old rares and things. Um, this one's just an old rare, but I want to point out what makes the next one so special. So, this is just a rare. Cool, it's an old base set rare. Neato. The card above it is also a, it's just one's just a common, but it's different. This is actually what's known as a shadowless. If you notice here, there's like a little black box that goes around the Pokemon's portrait here. Well, some cards were printed in the very first set, didn't have that. It's a misprint. So, we have ourselves a bunch of shadowless cards here. Well, not a whole bunch, but like, you know, a good handful. Stormy, a Magmar, like these guys were just saying, these guys are almost similar in nature. They're like, you know, that and the Jinx. These guys are all like, I think we're in a row with each other. And yeah, just one's a uh, reverse, sorry, these ones are, have a, a shadow on it, these ones don't. So these cards are all worth about, oh, this one doesn't. I guess I accidentally got that in the pile, but there's another Shadowless. Just tons of Shadowless cards. Each one of these is worth like three to four bucks just because they're Shadowless. And here we have ourselves a Vulpix, which is actually also an air card. On all the Pokemon cards, the HP number came before the HP, while on Vulpix it says HP50. It's a very common, not really super rare misprint, but it's still a misprint, so it gets a spot here for a second. Okay, then we're going to go into the trainers. I flipped this upside down to give itself a landmark, so I know what to change. Uh, here we have ourselves a Shadowless Trainer. If you can see, they're almost a completely different color. This one has a light gray, this one's such a dark gray, almost dark, well, black I say. Uh, this was a rare, so that's something cool to look at, but um, yeah, just a few shadowless trainers. Pokey flute. Get ourselves our energy here, we've got a special energy card, a health energy. I guess it removes one damage counter when you place it. Get ourselves an old Napoleon from some Dawn collection, I think Radiant Dawns. 
Just a bunch of old rares, including some Glaceons, which is kind of neat because they come in... Well, I got a Hollow and a Reverse Hollow of the same card. Swampert, Blaziken, unfortunately no Skeptile. Get ourselves a Rainbow Energy, just a Pelipper, whoop de doo and some Reverses. Now these are pretty sick Reverses if you ask me. I kind of like these old Reverses though. They almost have like a rainbow texture to them too. Or not a texture, but like just a hollow for to them. Okay, set those down. A few more rares. We get ourselves an old Moltres from Fossil Set. An Aerodactyl from Fossil Set. Be nice to get a pre-release one. Another rare. This one's actually a first edition, which makes it a little bit more special. Uh, we get ourselves a Raichu. Cool, cool. Uh, Hitmonlee. Electrode from Jungle. I'm not sure if this is the one that has the air. I know that there was an Electrode card that was either base set or jungle. I can't remember which one. And the misprint is, is that they didn't use the art they were supposed to use. They used the other card's art. So that's the thing. Get ourselves a first edition Planes de Duo. And a bunch of other gym leaders. There was actually a lot more gym leaders, but I'm just going to show off the first editions. Unfortunately, there's no rares. I would have loved to get myself a Koga's Drill. That would have been sweet. Get ourselves a Misty's Horsey. That's not bad. And uh, one of the sets that I first started in on was called the Radiant Collection. They had this little ring symbol. And it was basically a Radiant Collection, basically a reprint set of all the cool cards. Sorry for my moving all over the place there. It's kind of hard to stabilize my arms. One second. Yeah, that might help. Found myself a box to lean my arms on. Get ourselves a Kabuto from the Radiant Collection. I have a Charizard card. Uh, it's, it's basically a reprint set that has this. And yeah, that's how I got my Hollow Charizard. It was from, I think, the theme deck. Get ourselves a Light Ninetales. Neato. An old Giraffe Rig. I always liked the art design for Giraffe Rig there. I always thought it was a pretty cool card there. Get ourselves a Mail from Bill. Neat. A Pokemon Personality Test. Just look at the art on this one. That little Zumarill is just like showing up that Growlithe on there and... Growlithe? Is that right? Um, because too many words, too many Pokemon, I'm getting kind of confused here. But anyways, I just love the sass he's given him. Basically, it says put a card face down, your opponent has to guess whether it's a... Evol sorry, a light Pokemon, dark Pokemon, or just a regular Pokemon. If they get it right, they get three cards. If they don't get it right, you get three cards. So, just a, kind of like a coin toss or a three-way coin toss to see... You know, I just really love the art of that. The old Pokemon trainers had some really sick art. Get ourselves a full heal energy, which uh, heals special conditions. I really wish this next card was in good condition. Unfortunately, it's really wrecked up there. Uh, an old uh, Neo Destiny or Neo Set Steelix. But unfortunately, it's a little worse wear. Still very nice to look at. Several years ago, about four years ago, I ended up buying a holographic metal energy that was similar to this off the person in question that I bought this collection off. Get ourselves a Team Rocket's hideout. I just love the Team Rocket. Well, that's just a really cool card. I just wanted to show off this artwork. Get ourselves a Macro. Actually, I think I just want to show off all these new ones. First edition Apom. Old Pokemon cards has such a nostalgic look to them. They were really nice to look at. A bunch of unknowns. Well, I mean, there's a bunch of unknowns in here. I'm not known here, I guess. I kind of went by group here. Pylos, Pylo, sorry, Pyloswine and Snubble and all types of things. Tillery and Remoraid just blowing water at each other. Bunch of cool Pokemon. Sea King. Always love Sea King with Cargo. And we're getting ourselves into some Aquaculus. Ah, I can't even never pronounce Aquaculus. I, you know what? I give up. I'm just going to keep going. Some of these words, 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 words. Get ourselves a Sneasel. I, very nice. Town Volunteers, good old stuff, a Porygon, that one looks sick, I always love Porygon Arts. The Sneasel looks nice, don't care much for the Drowsy, Cubone's pretty cool. The Onyx is just awesome looking, like that is a breathtaking picture there for that card. Get ourselves a Tyrogue and a Hitmontop. This Tyrogue's the baby, can evolve into anything, it was actually my first shiny I ever got too, was a Tyrogue. I think I evolved it into a Hitmonchan, I can't quite remember. No, no, it was, uh, no, it was him on Lee, because I always thought the legs were a lot cooler on that guy. Uh, let's see, we got ourselves a Mareep, Slowpoke, and a bunch of old other things. Remorate I like, Ralph I like, Bellsprout's one of my old fan favorites. Could care too much about the Neodorito or the Pinsir, but, you know, just some cool cards. Okay, we're gonna keep going. So got three piles in a way, because I still gotta go for that one. Got ourselves... Okay, this one I think is also a color, sorry, a, um, what is it called? A color, sorry, shadowless, because notice how there's a little bit of a black edge right here. There isn't as much on the blue. It's hard to tell. I'm not really too familiar when it comes to 
energies and trainers, but you know, you know, maybe it's a thing. Just gonna move this pile. Try not to scuff up that cart. Get ourselves a aquapus. Ah, aquapus. Ah, you know what? I'm just gonna give up. I just cannot pronounce the word right now for the life of me. A Zapdos Hollow. This is actually like a twenty-seven dollar card, uh, American. So that's pretty neat. Um, you can attach electric energies from your hands to Zapdos. Wow, that's weird. Anyways, a very cool card. Get ourselves an old Mewtwo promo. I remember getting one of these a long time ago. And also this next one here. Oh, the Mew and the Mew Warner Brothers presents Pokemon the first movie. This is the third promo that's ever been released, so it's pretty neat to get one of those. Get ourselves a Mew EX card. That's pretty sick. Gonna be passing all these Mews off to my lady because she loves herself Mewtwo and whatnot. Get ourselves a really cool looking Magnemite here. Sleeved up because it's so nice. Get ourselves a kind of like a galaxy spotted Mammoth Wine Knight. Cradilly, cool. A reverse pincer, I like that. I like my reverses have these kind of nice cool looking borders to them. Gligar with a reverse stem from Dragon, uh, what does that say? Dragon Frontiers, I guess. I can't quite look for my viewfinder here. It's a nice Crystal Guardian. Uh, Blastoise, it's not in the greatest condition, it looks a little crimped at the bottom. Still pretty cool. Get ourselves a Hitmonchan EX, you know. Slacking, and a bunch of things from Emerald Eerie Eater cards. Gardevoir is very nice. I wonder if there's any swirls on there. I eh, don't really see nothing too much for swirls. Delicat, cool, I guess I'll the camera up. Pokemon Park, I just like this one, just Chikorita. It would be nice to see a uh, Totodile in the mix. They have a Pikachu, but that's pretty cool. Maybe it might be featuring Ash's Pokemon, but he had also had a Totodile, so that's, that doesn't quite work. A uh, X and Y Trevent with the, what's it called? Can't see it. Forest Curse, where your opponent can't play any item cards. This is actually a super broken combo and expanded. Uh, yeah, pretty neat. Get ourselves an Abelta promo, X and Y 08. Electros, a Vile Plume with the Allergic Panic, which turns weaknesses into four times weaknesses. Which is kind of neat if you want to do like a max damage deck. Um, yeah, it's really hard to pull off, but it's kind of cool. Zygarde promo, neato. Gliscord promo, or sorry, hollow from uh, Undaunted. Oh, uh, one of the um, Sun... Hard Gold Soul Silver ones. Togekiss, Coolio. A first edition Gengar, that's pretty nice. A Hypno, but I mean this one's way better, like who cares about Hypno? We get ourselves a Hitmonchan, but this one I think is uh, Spanish or something like that. Mexican, um, yeah, just I don't really know how else to pronounce it. Pungo Special. And I, uh, we got ourselves also a Machamp with uh, M Movemento Seismico, which I just, that's just an awesome name for that. Anyways, that's pretty cool, first edition. All of them were first edition, but it's just kind of neat to have two foreign cards in the mix. Get ourselves another one of those allergic panic bio blooms. Neat, neat. Get ourselves a promo Hitmon Lee. Cool. P Dove from McDonald's. A Mag Mortar. A Gumi with a uh, Gudro with the hollow foil that's uh, Galaxy Foil, which I mean, I can't, it's focusing because, you know, whatever. Gotta keep going through, don't wanna run out of time. Bunch of reverses. An old Wobbuffet hollow from uh, Heart Gold Server era. Get ourselves a Palkia. Unfortunately, not the hollow, sorry, the shining versions. In the set, there, every hollow had a secret. Reverse Hollow in the, what is it called, Legends, I can't remember names for the life of me today. Eh, whatever, some one of the old sets had cards that were really expensive, like 30 bucks, 50 bucks a card, because they just came reverse. I'm more of a Dalgaia fan, but, you know, cool, got us all the Dunsparce, wish they would have done something a little better with that. Fortress, or Icebeer, McDonald's promo, not too crazy. Nice old X and Y, sorry, X and Y Plasm Blast, I think it is. Uh, Me Spirit, that's pretty cool. Too bad it wasn't Oxy's with the setup ability like Shaman. That would have been extra nice. Gligar, my man. I used to, I love this card. Had a poison deck that could poison your freeways from Sunday. And it says Stun Poison. Your uh, flip coin of heads, your opponent's active Pokemon is now poisoned and paralyzed. And I had some Vipers and Verbank Cities, Ariados, a poison gun that would poison you, and Victini that flipped so I always had 75% chance of landing heads. And thus, you couldn't attack next turn. It was just really bad. But Guzma came into the scene, made it so that that was a very unviable combo because people could escape. Or evolve, you know, or switch, or abilities, or trainer cards. Bunch of reverses. This is kind of neat. This is actually from a box set, I think. or It was a X and Y sample pack. Regardless, we have all three of them in the uh, hollow fashion, which is nice to see it treated to the middle. 
and the basic. Also has the signature move, Matte Block. Neato. Keep going through. Who cares about that? Get ourselves two Full Arts here. Two Full Arts, uh, Dark Cry and uh, Arceus. Get ourselves an Onion Fairy. Cool, cool. Keep going. This actually was a very valuable card at one point. Um, well, it has Spike, I should say. It does double damage against EX cards, which were all the Rays back in uh, Fates Collide. And this card was like a, I think at one point, like a $12 card. You know, get ourselves a Blitzel. My old friend Shininja with the Scream of Me Shininja. Curse Rain for every damage counter on this Pokemon. Do 50 damage. Have Mew EX copy his attack. You can have some real fun with that. Uh, we get ourselves a Beautifly Hollow. An old uh, Haxorus from Plasma Blast, I think. And a Ho-Ho promo. Yeah, I ended up buying this collection off a friend of mine for 200 bucks. Feel like I got my money's worth. And a lot more. Like, to be honest, this is, this is a real good deal. Okay, so we got ourselves a Devulsion Spray, nothing special about that, just a rare. Put it aside, I'm just going to tuck these aside so I have a place to land them. Get ourselves an old black and white Superior, cool. A Zekrom and a Black Kyurem. There's also a white, sorry, a Reshiram in there, so these guys kind of go together. Their signature moves Outrage. Does 10 damage for each damage counter on it, so it does 20. Maybe if you had, say, 50 on it, it does 70. It's really nice for splashing back and starting with a... It was a really good card back in the day. I preferred Reshiram because Blacksmith, uh, this one damaged itself in the process, it makes it weaker. Eh, I prefer this one. I mean, ideally, you could probably hit off the 120 first, get a knockout, then have about 40 on it, maybe a little bit more, and then you could start doing Outrage. Uh, I just thought it was easier to work with the fire. However, there's two gold cards of these cards. I do believe Zekrom's a lot better looking because the yellow matches the gold texture and the gold card as the red doesn't from the fire energies. So I'll give it props there. There's a Meganium, who cares about that? Another Verizon, I have like 15 of those. So we got ourselves a Garbodor. Oh, Garbodor, but actually we'll go back to this one. This is a Theme Deck exclusive Hollow, so that's pretty cool to get my hands on one of those. I love Volcarona, very nice Pokemon. Get ourselves uh, an old Entei promo card. Now, I'm I'm pretty sure that these were just hollowed. I think there's a chance there isn't some, but I don't know. I'm just really happy to get myself one of these. Kids WB Electrobuzz promo, the second, I believe. Yeah, the second promo card ever made. I think Pikachu's first. I'm not sure why they went for Electrobuzz. They had a Mewtwo and a Dragonite because those were in the movie. I understand that. It's just an old rare item finder. Uh, an e-reader promo ho ho. I think I checked online. I think that's like a uh, twenty dollar card right there. So that's pretty cool. Old arc uh, or so old Articuno. When I was completing my set for uh, which called the first one hundred fifty one Pokemon, I actually ordered an Articuno, this exact Articuno online to try to fill in my last bird. I had the other two birds that were older, but yeah, promo Zapdos. Pretty sure that's a few bucks. Moltres. Uh, it would be nice to see the other promo Articuno, but, you know, you get what you get. Get ourselves some Pop Figure, sorry, not Pop Figure, Play Pokemon, or Pokemon Organized Play promo cards. Uh, back in the day, you used to get these little free card packs when you attended leagues and you did cool stuff and you had some fun. Yeah, just kept going for it. I see I only have about four minutes left, so I'm going to speed run for the rest of it. Because the Larviar, these are some of the first reverse cards. These all go for about, say, it's 10 uh, 25 and like $12, very nice. Get ourselves a Suicune, a Jump Bluff, you're going to have to just keep going through this. A Dark Charizard, but unfortunately, the card has been teared and it looks like it was painted, or sorry, super glued back together with a piece of tape. It's damaged, it's not worth anything nowadays, but still pretty to look at. Get ourselves a Dark Alakazam, a Pidgeotto from Base Set 2, a Ninetales Base Set 2, Alakazam, Raichu and a Muck from ba uh, Fossil, Wigglytuff, your Victor Bell, just some other promos. I really like this one just because I haven't seen it before and I love Kingdra. And Umbreon Prime. Uh, my friend was actually has an Umbreon tattoo, so it's kind of funny. So uh, shout out to Umbreon. And let's just crack into that last one while I still have three minutes on the clock. Luckily, it's not too thick, but this is some of the icing on the cake here. As I stated before, we have a Brock's Ninetales. This card goes for like 50 bucks, surprisingly. It is a first edition. It looks pretty good. It looks like a 9 out of 10, so I'm good with that. A Shining Magikarp, another $50 card. Um, yeah, that's pretty cool. Just a uh, good old shining Pokemon. Uh, hold on. Just gonna stack the deck for a second off camera. That goes to the back, and you know what? We'll make that the second last card. Come on, Joel, you only have about a few minutes here. So yeah, we got ourselves a Magikarp, cool. An Entei First Edition, another $50 card, cool. A Lugia, 40 bucks right there, that's pretty neat. 
Pikachu. Now this one's actually a misprint because in the original art it was supposed to have yellow uh, cheeks uh, when it was doing this little shock animation. This one has the red cheeks and it's a shadowless. That's a $12 card right there. Unknown J, love my unknown J. I'm really happy that the uh, professor map that I have actually has a J on it. Lucky me, I'm Joel, so that's pretty cool. Not to keep going through, it's an old Skeptile. Who cares about that? Who cares about that? Bunch of stuff. And the icing on the cake is pretty much going to be the last two cards. Just a bunch of reverses. Slow King is really nice. I love that ability. A little Samurott. And this one's really good. So, Cadaver has an issue where uh, some guy copyrighted and tried to sue Nintendo and Pokemon because his whole deal was he had a S logo on his suit and he bent spoons. So they didn't really reprint that many Cadaver cards. I think they stopped after like 2008, or sorry, 2008, what am I talking about? 1998? Or around 2000s, and yeah, there's just not that many Cadaver cards. Some Aber cards will just instantly evolve by using their attack into a Alakazam. Uh, this one is a reverse. This one is... One of the first kind of reverses was this, uh, in the Radiant Collection, was this kind of fireworks-looking hollow. That's a $50 card. Okay, so we're in our last minute, the icing on the cake, a Shining Charizard card. It is in very good condition. Uh, it has a little bit of, like, white dents here and there and there. But just a good old Shining Charizard. This card is probably a $200 card as is. And that's the icing on the cake. Ended up buying a friend's collection note. Ended up getting all this beautiful stuff and even the four binders too, which are like $30 binders. I don't know. I wish I could have gave more, but you know, it is what it is. Uh, they're cool with it, so they, you know, here, this is what I got. Well, thanks for watching my Northern, Northern Pokemon openings. Take a look at the Discord there. There's going to be a link in the description. I give out code cards when people join in, and if you want, you can play me online and we'll have a few matches there. Uh, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, check out some of the other videos, and I'll catch you later. Thanks for watching. Peace.